Hello, everyone. I'm Sui Tao Gan from SKL Mac and Tsinghua University. Today, I'm going to introduce our work, Grade 1, Data Flow Sensitive Farting. I finished this work with Professor Cao Zhang from Tsinghua University. As you know, farting became more and more popular and practical approach to bite boxing software. However, real world software generally contains many hard program characteristics like checksum or magic bytes, checking branched which extremely impeding farting. Symbolic execution and dynamic trend analysis are introduced to assist farting to solve these hard constraints. And there has been lots of representative work in the past few years. But both of these methods are facing many open problems. Symbolic-based techniques are always limited by constraint solving, path exploration, and the environment model. Similarly, traditional trend analysis have many limitations. Firstly, it involves trend by analyzing each executed instruction that we are consume large memory and execute very slowly. Furthermore, is extremely suffered for long serious under and over -tend because they are mainly external core, implicit control flow, and specified instructions in real world programs. In addition, traditional tendency need enable intensive effect once it comes across unknown instructions and external core. So it leaves many questions to us. Question one. How do we break through these limitations of traditional trend analysis and perform lightweight and accurate trend analysis for efficient farthing? Question two, once getting accurate trend, how do we use it to guide more efficient mutation in farthing? Question three, how to accelerate code coverage by tuning farthing's evolution direction with date flow filters? To solve above questions, we design GRI1. Next time, we will detail core techniques of GRI1. Let's look at the architecture of GRI1. GRI1 is also evolution-based farthing, but data flow analysis is throughout the whole evolutionary process. At first, GRI1 designed dri uh, farthing driving tend influence by the regime feedback farthing. It brings many advantages than traditional tend analysis. To answer question one, GRI1 next performed date dependence influence by the prioritization and the intelligent mutation to answer question two. Unlike other uh, fathers only considering control flow feature, GRI1 where my conformance are the useful data flow feature that is used to guide evolution. It will explore how to reach branches more efficiently to answer question three. At last, we design selective testing to perform performance optimization. In the FTI part, we define a tender rule. It was a value of a variable changes. It would infer that the variable is tended by the mutated byte. According to the rule, we need to perform byte level mutation with critical variables when you monitor it. To make tend more accurately, we did design a set of predefined mutation rules and uh, only check the variables in constraints. FTI brought many advantages. It inferred tend fast because only focusing on checking part variables in critical branches. Its architecture independent and needs no uh, extra effect to put to new platforms because the inferring process only depend on farting. It avoids over tend and the subs flowing less under tend. With the assistance of FTI, we would implement many applications. Basically, FTI would get the dependence between branch and the input bytes. Furthermore, it would identify direct or indirect copies of input. Query one used this tend date to construct intelligent mutation. By evaluating the tend accuracy, FTI outperforms classic tend analysis solution deficient too much, finding 113 more untouched branches that are untended. And the FTI will bring about 25% overhead on average. In the tend guided mutation part, we define the relevant priority orientation rule for each input byte and the branch. For specified state, we compute the weight of each byte through accumulating the total untouched branches that are 
extended by this byte. This means when mutating one byte, the more unsolved constraints are effective. The more new edges would be uncovered if we give a priority to this byte with higher weights. After getting weight of bytes, we would compute the weight of an untouched branch in the coding passed by counting the sum of all its dependent input bytes weight. With date, uh, written date, we would construct the practical mutation uh, strategy. Grade one, we explore the untouched neighbor branches and uh, tainted bytes according to the descent order of weight. For the branch with indirect copies of input, we one perform random mutation for the selected bytes. Due to the possible undertone of FDI, we one we are randomly mutating turns adjacent byte with a small probability. As you know, seed selection change is critical to control evolutionary direction, but most traditional approaches only focus on speed uh, control flow or variable feature. To describe the satisfied state of a program constraint, Grid 1 defines conformance of constraint. It's designed to express the distance of tended variables to the uh, values expected in untouched branches. Higher conformance means lower complexity of mutation. For one branch, we took the sum of the same bits for two variables as its conformance. For one basic block, we took the greatest conformance among the among its untouched branch as its conformance. For one pass, we accumulate uh, its conformance of each basic block is uncovered. The data flow feature mining performs quickly, keep the original construct of a program and uh, would uh, adapt to adapt to long constant variables comparison branch. We design acute um, seed storage and updating strategy. Unlike traditional model, we would identify unique paths and uh, different data flow. Each load of seed queen stored one unique path and its different conformance. We want design three updating operations. Once uncovering new paths, it allocates one load for the seed and uh, the queen. Once uncovering an old pass but with higher conformance, it will use DC to replace the relevant load. In addition, if the test case uncovers an old pass and has a unique uh, distribution of basic block conformance, it will be added to the relevant load because the test case should be better to uncover some basic block. Green one will give uh, priority to seed with higher conformance. The, um, the strategy would um, get long, long term stable improvements and avoid getting stuck in local minimum like gradient descent algorithm. At last, introduce the performance optimization of grid one. In addition to checking edges, grid one added two new modes one for FTI and the other for conformance computing. When conformance checking mode brought few conformance promotion, it will switch to normal edging checking mode. Through comparing grid one with AFL, the uh, mode without selective mechanism will slow down to less than 65%. But once launching the selective mechanism, grid one would keep execution speed more than 80%. Okay, we did lots of experiments on grid one. Now, we present the evaluation at first. We tested the 19 popular applications in 60 hours. By comparing with AFL, Core AFL, WADA, Hong Father, Angola, Grade 1, detected 200% uh, more vulnerabilities, and uh, for, uh, 41 of that were assigned in CBS. We repeated the same testing five times. Graham, Grade 1 found uh, crashes faster and found 500% more unique variable pass on, uh, on average. On the code coverage, Grade 1 has a stronger growth trend in all applications. Unlike other fathers, um, Grade 1 keeps a steady growth trend for a long time. Especially, 
Blue one would find 100% more past and 50% uh, more ages. To better understand the contribution of each part in grade one, we took further evaluation. If grade one used the traditional tender, uh, dynamic tender engine different to obtain tend, code coverage will be uh, reduced to half of the version using FTI. When closing the tend guided um, strategy, grade one will cut down 14% um, unique paths and uh, 42 unique crashes. When closing the conformance guided evolution, grid one will cut down 21% unique pass and 63% unique crash. In addition, we took grid one as a cumulistic constraint solving based further and set the same work mode as QSYNC. By comparing with QSYNC, grid one found 20% more unique pass, 12% more edges, and 50% um, more vulnerabilities. At last, we make a conclusion. Make um, conclusion of the paper. Uh, we pro propose a lower data flow sensitive fault in grade one. Uh, when FT, um, where FTI is um, far more efficient than traditional analysis, is uh, it performs better performance than existing popular farting tools. It detected more than one hundred unknown vulnerabilities with forty one CVS. Uh, thank you very much. Please ask question. If you have any more questions of life, please send the email to us.